up. Our country will not survive if a person like Steve Bannon's individual crimes aren't punished. It's ridiculous. These people are as crooked as the day is long. And, and if the American people aren't outraged, then we deserve what's coming to us. Royce, uh, Steve Bannon, through, I guess, a fund that was supposed to be directed towards building the wall and border security, he's being prosecuted. But BLM raised billions of dollars, and I'm not aware, and they certainly misused and bought mansions and paid boyfriends and baby daddies and relatives. <laughs> I'm not aware of any of them being prosecuted on any level, but Steve Bannon in the crosshairs, uh, make it make sense, help us understand what's going on here. It's asymmetrical warfare. It's on. I mean, it, that's the that's the bottom line. We're we're in an asymmetrical war with our government and and with the the political elites of the Uniparty of the globalist establishment. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's hard for me because obviously Steve's a, a friend and a mentor of mine, and and I know his family well, and and uh, I know where his heart is. He's a good he's a good person. He's he's an he's a hero, really. He's an American hero, no doubt. Um, but but this should just enrage the American people. The, the American people should not stand for this kind of stuff. But they're getting high and jerking off. I said it before. I'll keep saying it. If these things don't enrage you, slowly but surely, you're losing your citizenship. You're, 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 we are losing our country, and if we lose our country or continue to lose our country, you'll lose your citizenship, and you'll look up one day, and they'll come for you, and you'll go, well, why is nobody outraged? Why, why is nobody upset? Why is nobody coming to my aid or my defense? Because there was no country or no foundation left to base your defense on. And that's what they've done right here, you know? And I, I wasn't involved with the Build the Wall campaign, obviously. Um, I wasn't involved with the Save America PAC or anything like that, so I can't speak to the specific details of how the funds were were uh, raised or used. But I can say that, I mean, what what the f are we even talking about when it when it comes to financial crimes? What are we even talking about? Honestly, I mean, Ilhan Omar uh, gives her husband uh, $15,000 a month, his firm, right? She, she, she divorced her Somali husband, her Muslim husband, for a Jewish man and gives him $15,000 a month. Or let's say she gives uh, the Democratic Party $15,000 a month now, and then the Democratic Party here in Minnesota writes a check to her husband for $15,000. So you got that happening. You got George Soros, who's not even a, a, an American citizen. He's donating $250,000 to the Minnesota Democratic Party alone. You got Mark Zuckerberg, who gives $100 million of his own personal money, which is way beyond a contribution in kind and should violate uh, uh, financial campaign law. I mean, this stuff is happening all over the place. This is selective prosecution. And here in New York, you had probably one of the first times in American history where the legislator preemptively signed into law the ability to reverse a presidential pardon. And, and it, it goes back to the problem in D.C. too, where, where you know, there was a selective prosecution of Bannon, where Eric Holder, for example, under Obama, had presidential executive privilege. And they say, well, no, Eric Holder, that's a different situation. Uh, where it, They didn't prosecute him. But Steve Bannon is in the crosshair. Why? Why do people actually believe that they're going after Steve Bannon? Because he's such a bad guy. And if these crimes don't get brought to justice, then the, the, the idea of America won't hold up. Our country will not survive if a person like Steve Bannon's individual crimes aren't punished. It's ridiculous. These people are as crooked as the day is long. And, and if the American people aren't outraged, then we deserve what's coming to us. You know, I obviously what's going on with Steve Bannon is connected to Joe Biden's speech a week ago in Philadelphia and the whole framing of anybody that supports President Trump, the MAGA Republicans, and Steve Bannon would certainly be considered one of those as he was one of the arch early architects of Trump's success. And it's, it's Biden and the left have been able to define the people that support President Trump as the worst things on the planet. And so yeah. people are just kind of shrugging their shoulders and like, well, they deserve it. He's a MAGA Republican. And don't you know they're the greatest threat to our democracy in the world? Our president told us that. The FBI runs around the country and tries to frame and tries to bait 
Donald Trump supporters into committing crimes. And and so the, the indifference, the apathy, and the what people don't understand, it, it, it's like these tactics that you're all sitting around watching and saying, ah, that's not me. One day that will be you. One day these very tactics will be used against you or someone you love and and that's why we should be standing up and being outraged uh because and again i don't know the details but i do know that in this era we've lived in in the last decade at least the money that's been raised through black lives matter which is really just a democratic political operation and so it's just money being raised for democratic policies and and we don't know where any of that money has gone there's been no right. accounting and and i just help me if i'm right or i just, no one's being prosecuted for those crimes that they raise money off the death of george floyd eric garner yeah. and all these black men none of that money has been spent on helping those people from similar circumstances Yep. It's all enriched a handful of LGBTQ soldiers, but no one's going to jail. The people that looted and burned and caused chaos in their cities, we raise money to get them out of jail. Yeah. And and but Steve Bannon is public enemy number one. He wasn't even in he wasn't even involved in January the sixth. He was already out of the Trump White House. But to me, they're they're going after him to send a message to me, to Royce White, to TJ Moe, and to everybody else. Stay away from Trump. Yeah. Uh and and be good if we can ever get Trump in a court and put him behind bars, we don't want anybody complaining because you might be next. <laughs> 